I need somebody like Martin to have my back. So if it meant me giving him a little commissary, I was willing to spend a little money to have somebody willing to give me some insight. Jeff could just be trying to be nice and thinks this is the way that inmates are going to start liking him. But Jeff thinks that he's in for a rude awakening because that's not how inmates like you. They like you based on respect, not on what you give them. So where are you going to be staying at, Reggie, when you got here? I have no idea. You need a place to stay? I got a couple houses. Y'all go over on which side. There are two guys that Martin seems to be preying on and taking advantage of right now. And one of them definitely doesn't seem like he's right. He's got to be cheating. I think he's right. Really? Yeah, I promise. I swear to God, I heard the TV tell me that. Ricky walked into one of the cells and starts talking about how he's hearing voices from the TV that are telling him that this guy Jeff is a child molester and all sorts of craziness. That dude, I said, no, I'm not going to Ricky, man. You tricked me, bro. Y'all ain't going to do nothing about it. I just want to smack you. Jeff has gotten himself involved in an ugly situation. What you get used to when you're fighting, you just stay on your feet like this. You're playing. I know you're playing. Ricky, he just stares at people, and he'll kind of look at you out of the corner of his eye. He's done that to me a few times. He scares me a little bit, to be honest with you. Roby, the pod boss, is worried that Ricky might do something to Jeff and has tried to step in and take control of the situation. Sunday, I was talking to my new bunkmate, and uh, out of nowhere, this guy just punches me in the face twice, knocks off my glasses. I can't see anything without my glasses. Be quiet. What the